everybody doing tonight? All right, so the other day, I'm walking down the street, I'm on my way to work, and I really have to fart, you know? And, and I'm suspicious of the fart because I just don't trust it. So I'm walking, you know, my ass is like really tight, I could fit a token in my ass, and I let it out, and it's uh, a wet one. So, you know, I live seven blocks from um, where, I live seven blocks from where I work, so I'm, I'm walking down the street, you know, like, you know, of course, I'm, I'm very social in my neighborhood, so everybody knows me, and every, it's like everybody's come out. So I'm like walking down the street, I'm like, oh, shit, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I, I really, you know, I really have to go. So I get into my apartment, and, you know, I, I'm about to, you know, crap in the lobby, and, uh, <laughs> I, um, I realized that the bathroom door is locked, you know, and I don't know if like the, the cat knocked over the folding ironing board or something, I don't know, but it's wedged, it's locked, and I'm not getting in. So I'm like, you know what, F fuck this, I I'm gonna just, I, I just dropped my pants and I took a shit right there, you know, and I figure that my dogs, you know, I've got two dogs, I've got a cat, I've got two turtles, none of these damn animals are trained. So, you know, I figured I'll just take a shit on the floor and uh, I'll clean it up. I mean, I clean it up all the time. What's the big deal? So, anyway. so uh, all right. So, um, anyway, so I decide that I, I need a housekeeper. I mean, my place is a fucking mess. It's, you know, it's, it's a real mess. And so my, my, my super's wife, you know, she, she, she tells me that uh, I should call this lady Lil. So... I give Lil a call and, uh, you know, she, she knocks on my door, I open the door and she's like, oh baby, how you doing? My name is Lil. You can call me Miss Lil, you can call me Lily, you can call me Miss Sunshine, you can call me the singing nun, or you can call me the lady in red. Ooh, Mr. Todd, don't you worry, I'm gonna have this place all clean spick and span for you. I'm gonna spend the day with my two boyfriends, mm-hmm, Mr. Clean and Mr. Muscles, all right, mm-hmm. Don't you worry, baby. See these fingers? They work for me. So anyway, yeah, right? Uh, so uh, so uh, anyway, I come home from work. You know, I've worked very hard all day. You know, I worked all day. And, uh, you know, I, I walk in my door. I think my apartment is going to be spotless. And, you know, I walk in, everything looks the same. Except Miss Lil is sitting on my couch, watching TV, smoking a cigarette, and putting it out in a dish. You know, I'm like, what's up with that? So, um, so, uh, so not only that, but she tells me, uh, ooh, Mr. Todd, I'm sorry, but you owe me $8. And I'm like, what the fuck do I owe $8 for? You know, $8, what'd she buy? More Mr. Muscles, more Mr. Clean, I don't know. So uh, she actually said, ooh, baby, you didn't have the fixing for a sandwich or a piece of fruit in the refrigerator for me for lunch. So I was like, what the fuck's up with that? So, uh, you know, I paid her the $8, and you know, she said, ooh, Mr. Todd, this place is still a mess. I'm going to have to come back tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I need another $60 for that. Hope you have a piece of fruit. Uh, so anyway, Miss Lil never came back. You know, I... It, it's not only my, uh, not, not only do my dogs fuck up my apartment, but they make my clothing a mess. I mean, you know, uh, you know. So the other day, I'm walking across the street. I live directly across the street from my, uh, my dry cleaner. And uh, she, you know, she's looking through the window and she's like giving me this evil eye. I'm like, what's up, you know? I, I didn't understand why, why she, you know. So uh, um, I walk in and she's like, Oh, Mr. Todd, no good, no good. I spend one hour per sweater, one hour. Hair, 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 hair. <laughs> oh, Mr. Todd, that's no good, that's no good. <laughs> then she has the balls to go on and she says, Ooh, Mr. Todd, last year. Mm. Oh, you look so good, so good last year. Then, you, I take four inches in cedar pan. Oh, too thin, Mr. Todd. Four inches, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, too much, too, too teeny, too teeny weeny. Oh, Mr. Todd, young man should not be so thin. <laughs> so, uh, so, anyway, so now, I mean, uh, you know, I'm getting abused from my, my, 
my housekeeper, my dry cleaner. So I decided, you know, I've got to get, um, I've got to get a, um, a shrink. So I, I, I get this shrink. You know, I definitely need a shrink. I get into her office, and you know, she seems pretty normal. And she pulls her legs up on the seat, and she's like, "Hi, how you doing?" I'm like. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> she's in a lazy boy with the feet up. You know, she's got one of those reclines, her legs are up, and she's got her legs up like this. And she breaks out a can of nuts. And I'm like, what, what's up with the nuts? You know, I mean, you know. So, you know, she, she starts scratching her vagina. And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, is this a sign? Is she trying to, you know, is this part of her plan? Is this part of the therapy? I don't know, you know, sorry, you know, I, whatever. I was out of there, and that was the end of it. Anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> Michael Todd, first time, ladies and gentlemen. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs>